What is going on guys? Welcome back to Stampede Airsoft. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Type 64 BR from G&G Armament. As we've come to expect from G&G's higher end rifles, this gun is made out of full metal along with a wooden stock and wood pistol grip, just like its real world counterpart. This rifle also features a full metal deployable bipod and shoulder rest, making it very easy for you to make stable shots while prone or in a mounted position. Some other neat features about this rifle is the locking bolt, um, which allows you to see your hop-up window. Um, and the way you adjust the hop-up on this rifle is actually at the front of the gas tube right here. You twist one way, you get more hop, you twist the other way, less hop, and you can actually see it moving inside of the, um, just behind the uh, charging handle. And to release the charging handle, press this button right here, goes forward. This rifle also features a set of flip up front and rear iron sights with the rear iron sight being adjustable for windage and elevation. The fire selector on this gun is another um, weird thing. Um, it is right here um, to, to change fire modes from safe to semi to full auto. You have to pull out on it and twist it to into position. So just pull out, twist into position. It's not that difficult, but people that are used to M4s or AKs where it's just flicking a switch, um, it's gonna be something that they're gonna have to get used to. Unlike most other odd airsoft rifles, the battery compartment for this gun is in this very nice stock right here. You just flip open the, um, the shoulder rest, pop open this little door right here, and inside you will find a Tamiya connector with a fuse behind it. There's quite a fair amount of room back here, um, so if you're running very long, like stick-type LiPo batteries or the smaller brick batteries, you'll have no issue fitting them in the stock. And because it does have a MOSFET in it, you will be able to run 11-1 um, LiPos, 11-1 Lithium Ions, any of those higher voltage batteries so you can get the best performance out of this gun as you possibly can. Just like G&G's other higher end airsoft rifles, this gun also features a, um, an empty mag cutoff. So when you run out of BBs in the magazine, the gun will not shoot. Um, it'll also not shoot with a, without a magazine inside of the gun. But unlike G&G's other rifles, there's really no way around that. You can't just press to press the button and dry fire your gun. You have to have the magazine in it. Fortunately, there is a function on the magazine where you can flip a switch. Um, and it'll allow the gun to dry fire with the magazine in the gun. Inside this gun is G&G's brand new optical sensor MOSFET, which is very different from them um, for, they usually use micro switch MOSFETs. Optical MOSFETs haven't really been seen in stock guns before. Um, they're usually an aftermarket upgrade, whether it be a Gate Titan MOSFET or some other um, brand. But this is the first time that an optical sensor is being used in a stock gun right on the box. With this very, very new MOSFET that G&G just came out with, um, you are going to get a remote inside the box, and this is going to allow you to change things like uh, burst modes, um, trigger sensitivity because it is an optical sensor, um, you can change right when the trigger engages, and then you, there's something called AUG mode. So if you don't know how an AUG works, um, half trigger pull is semi, and then the full trigger pull is going to be either full auto or one of the two burst modes, either three round or five round burst. This MOSFET's also going to allow you to do um, diagnostics on your gun. So if it's not shooting correctly, um, inside your manual, it'll tell you actually what to do and it'll um, run through everything, make sure everything's working all right. And if something is wrong, it'll beep at you um, and give you a sign, hey, something, something is wrong with your gun and you can go make sure you can get it fixed. With this new MOSFET, please make sure you actually take a look at the manual if you were to get this gun, um, because it is a little confusing at first. It took us a second to understand what was going on with it, but once you figured it out, it is a very, very cool introduction and an awesome um, um, technological advancement from G&G. So really quickly, I wanna go over um, exactly how you program this gun if you wanted to change any of the fire modes or your trigger sensitivity which is one of the main reasons why you would buy this gun in the first place. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a battery plugged in, and then you're gonna pull your magazine out, and then you're gonna select your desired um, setting that you wanna change. So one of the three trigger sensitivities or one of the burst modes, you're gonna press that on the, you're gonna press that on here. The gun's gonna beep, and then you're gonna be set in that trigger, or that, um, that mode. So I'm gonna select three on burst right here go ahead and reinsert your magazine, flip it to full auto, and 
you're good to go. As you can see there from our chrono test, this gun is shooting right around 400 FPS with 0.20 gram BBs and just around 20 balls a second with an 11.1 lipo, which is very nice for a gun straight out of the box. I expect nothing less from GNG at this point. One thing I noticed while shooting this gun is that the trigger is very, very snappy and super responsive. If you've never shot a gun with a Titan MOSFET or anything else that has an optical sensor in it, um, it is very much like that. You are very, very capable of getting super fast shots off on semi. Um, especially on that very first trigger sensitivity where you barely pull it back and it just and it's just instantaneous, um, the response on it. Also, with this gun just having a standard version 3 gearbox in it, you will be able to build it to be an absolute monster with all of the, um, with all the aftermarket parts available for regular version 3 gearboxes. This rifle is available in store and online at stampedeairsoft.com. Um, it is pricing right around $600. Um, but for that $600, you're getting a lot of gun. You're getting this very um, kind of special gun that nobody has ever made before. And that MOSFET is probably worth close to $100 on its own. Um, it is a very niche gun. Obviously not everybody's gonna want this specific gun, but hopefully they start putting that MOSFET into more guns like their M4s or their AKs and they will blow everybody else out of the water. As always, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out our Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date with all the new stuff that's going on inside the shop. Um, and I will see you guys next time.